guys linda here welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel thank you for clicking on this video my name is linda and i'm filming this video from lagos so in today's video guys i'm going to be talking to you guys about processed hair what is a processed processed hair if you want to know what a processed hair extension is then please keep on watching this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel sister please support your girl click on the subscribe button just right below also turn on the post notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads so guys without further ado let's get right into the video A processed hair is any hair extension that has been chemically treated, especially during its production stage, to strip it of its original form and um, to now we create a bouncy, shiny look in which the, the, the producer of the hair extension desires. And hairs that are processed tend to appear more shiny, they tend to have this glossy, bouncy look to them. And this is more prevalent when you when you when we look at Chinese hair extensions, Chinese bundles. You notice that most of these hair bundles just tend to have this very sleek, glossy, bouncy, bomb look, and it looks so beautiful when you first get the hair bundles. But the downside towards um, processed hair is the moment you wash that hair for the first time, you just notice that there's a big difference between how it was originally and how it looks after you washed it, you washed it. And um, what basically happens with the processing stage of, uh, of a human hair extension is that the hair is being stripped of the cortical in which it originally has because of course the cortical is not aligned. And when your, the cortical of your hair extension is not aligned, it therefore makes the hair to be prone to tangling. So by the process of stripping the hair of the cortical which it originally ha has, that helps to prevent tangling. After the, the cortical is being stripped from the hair, they tend to now apply stuff like silicone to now give you that very sleek, glossy look which you, you tend to see these hair extensions having. Processed hair extensions tend to maintain the same color from, from the roots of the hair down towards the tips of the hair because of course the hair was processed. The old color that you probably had, the hair probably had like gray hairs in it, some brown hairs to black, like you know, varying colors of hair in a particular like um what i call it like a particular bulk and the whole processing um state the whole processing um, um step just helps to take out the original color of the hair and then they put in a new color a, a new uniform color which they want all the bundles in that processing in that production batch to have so you now find that the hair now has one uniform color from the tip of the hair down towards the root of the hair because of course it was processed and also most times when you wash hair that is processed how you know that the hair is processed is that when you wash the hair extension and find out that the hair extension is losing its color because of course the color which the hair extension is in at the moment is not the original color that's the reason why you find out that when you wash it colors start to come off and this is more prevalent with um, hair extensions that are black in color because that's not your natural hair color for most people so therefore when you wash hair bundles like that the color starts to come off from the bundle and thereby you just know that oh this is processed hair processed hairs are fragile and they will tangle since and they, will, they are prone to tangling because of course they don't have the hair cortical in, in it and if at all it even has a hair cortical which it doesn't have because the cortical is not usually aligned it's more fragile and it might not be um, the longest lasting hair extensions you could get your hands on so the advantages of um, processed hair is that it is versatile in the sense that when a manufacturer of or probably a hair supplier is um, gets their bulk hair and they are processing it they, from the in the process of processing a hair extension they can get various core patterns they can get various um colors and they can instead of using um, the process of steaming the hair to get various core patterns they can choose to use the process of chemically like you know um treating the hair or even like chemically um styling the hair so that the waves and the bounce of the style which they put into the hair last longer so the advantages about the advantages of um, processed hair extension is that it is versatile and then of course it is readily available it's something that you easily find anywhere because most time most of all these um, processed hair extensions are are sourced or um from like it, it, they, are, it, they are easier to source because most of them might be picked from salon floors that's the bulk the hair is usually being picked, picked from salon floors and wherever places where people, people just tend to find hair hairs in so they are they are, they are 
this hair type of hair extension is more readily available just like now you want to order hair from your various vendors let's say you have a vendor in china you have a vendor in vietnam if you order from a chinese vendor the chinese vendor is going to have the hair ready readily available for you unlike when you're ordering from a vietnamese vendor the vietnamese vendor is going to have you wait for let's say a period of 15 days to 20 days or some even 30 days just to ensure that they can actually source for the hair and get the hair ready for you to the actual um core pattern or style that you actually want so the advantage of buying processed hairs from china is that it's readily available and then the hair also tends to have this shiny and glossy look to it and of course aside from it being versatile it is also yeah it's like it, it's the, the variety is like it has a large there's a large variety of of um colors and lengths and styles there's there's a there's a high variety when it comes to processed hair so these are actually like the advantages of um buying processed hair extensions so what are the disadvantages of purchasing processed hair extensions now the first disadvantage and of course i forgot to add one part of the advantage another advantage of buying processed hair extensions is that the price of processed hair extensions are cheaper it's more affordable unlike their other counterparts so what's the disadvantage of the processed hair extension the number one disadvantage is the fact that it doesn't last long of course when you buy a human hair extension that is, pro is processed hair on the average the most that hair will give you is probably just two years and most times these hair extensions are unhealthy and unnatural because of course it has been, it has been stripped of the natural elements in it so now when you are wearing processed hair it's more like you're just wearing plastic hair and then of course the quality of the hair is not there so the hair is not usually strong it's not the type of hair you want to bleach you won't be able to bleach a processed hair to get like a lighter color or if i thought you're even able to bleach it to get to a lighter color you might not be able to bleach the hair up to like a a blonde color because of course the hair is not the hair has already been chemically processed to achieve a particular look which it has now so putting in more chemicals to get a different look is going to stress the hair so in the place of you trying to lift the color in a processed hair you might end up damaging the hair so when you want to work with hair that you have to color you know and um you know you want you want to invest your invest in hair extensions that you want to be able to recolor and get like a different look then you definitely don't want to be working with a processed hair extensions but either way guys i hope the advantages of the processed hair extensions outweighs its advantages at least the fact that it is affordable and there's more versatility and variety with the processed hair extensions well, it depends on you. It's just for you to make your choice to know if you would prefer to use a processed hair extension or its other counterpart, which is an unprocessed hair extension, which is also similar to what they call a raw hair extension. So guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. If you got value out of this video, share with your friends who are also getting into the hair extension business who want to know about what, um, what processed hair extension is about and if you're not subscribed to my channel please please support your girl click on the subscribe button just right below also turn on the post notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads so i'll catch you in my next video i love you bye